One useful feature of LAMP is the vocabulary builder. It's a way to quickly filter vocabulary so you can focus in on keywords that are the focus of instruction or part of a routine and not deal with the thousands and thousands of words in the system at a particular point in time. So in order to access this feature, we're going to go into the menu option on the toolbar and vocab builders two thirds of the way down. This brings up a panel here with a whole bunch of options around the edges. What we're seeing in the center of the window, though, is the list of the thousands of words that are already in the system. Search toolbar at the top so we can quickly filter through that. Or you can also click on the letters that appear on the right-hand side as an alphabetic directory around the system. So any one of those ways will work. What we're going to do is first turn on the vocabulary builder. So you'll see down at the bottom of the uh, panel there is off on button. We're going to make that green and we're going to disable all of the words. So what we essentially did here is told it that we don't want to see any words right now. It's a blank slate. And if I hit this show enable button, it's showing us, well, no words would show right now because we didn't select any. I'm going to tap show all so I can see those thousands of words that are at my fingertips though. And now I'm going to do a search. So the first word that I want to teach the student uh, in this lesson or use in this routine is the word I, pronoun. So bring up the keyboard and just type the letter I. First option here is for I, but you're going to notice there's a little right arrow to the left of it. That, if you click on it, will expand and show you all of the options for I that appear there. So we see a couple keyboard options. I want this last one, which is the pronoun uh, symbol. So I'm going to check that box, and now I is enabled for my vocab builder. We're also going to add a couple other words here. So let's bring my keyboard back up. I want to say that I like and select that. And maybe we'll talk about our pets. So I'll choose cat, hear that, type in dog, select that result. And negation's a good thing too. So I'm going to add not into the mix too and select that. I'll minimize my keyboard here. And if we hit show enabled now after we've made a couple selections, it's showing us that these are the only words that are going to be visible once we get out of this menu with the vocab builder turned on. I'm going to hit done in the upper left hand corner of the panel. And this will take a couple seconds usually for the filter to occur. Might be a couple seconds, it might be 30, it varies, but it's relatively quick. And right now it's going through the process of hiding everything except those five words that we've just selected. Sometimes you'll see there's nothing on the screen. That probably just means you started and you weren't on the home screen. But this is the home screen. So uh, again, we see most of those 84 buttons now are blank. We only have access to those words we want to use for sentence building. I. I. Like. Like. Cat. Cats. Or. I. I do not. not. Like. Like. Cats. Cat. Cat. The nice thing about the vocab builder in LAMP is the student can learn where those button locations are and learn the vocabulary motor plan to get to those items. Cat. And then when the full vocabulary is back, they've had experience and practice using the buttons and the locations where they exist. So to get that full vocabulary back now, we're simply going to go to menu vocab builder and turn off the vocab builder so it'll go back to its gray state and we'll choose done and again that one went very quickly but now we're back to the full vocabulary over 5,000 words but I is still I. in the same location like like still in its same location you cat cat with the vocab builder, it toggles back and forth. So if we just wanted to go between those two items, full vocabulary and the cat vocabulary, we simply need to turn the screen button back on, and hit done. And after it's done doing its filtering, we'll see those five words are the only thing remaining available within the system.